Hi friends, welcome to week one of the January Pantry Challenge. Come on down to the countertop and see what I've got going in the crock pot for today's dinner. A number of weeks back I made a bunch of freezer meals. This is what I call pizza chicken. So it's got chicken and herbs and onion and maybe some peppers. It's got whatever kind of seasoning you would put on a pizza or in your, your you know, strong Italian salad dressing, pizza sauce, whatever. Uh, not salad dressing, sorry. A couple of weeks back, a couple of weeks back, I made a bunch of freezer meals that I just stuck in the bay in a baggie and put in the freezer. There are only two of us in the family, so they're not huge. Uh, this is what I call pizza chicken. You can put it in the crock pot frozen on low for six or eight hours and it pulls together nicely. It's basically chicken and whatever you would put on your pizza. So if you have bacon or if you have sausage or if you have pe uh, pepperoni, olives, onions, green peppers, whatever you like. It looks like, I, I don't even remember now, it has onions and chicken and there's definitely some parsley and oregano and, and all of that. And you put it in the crock pot with your favorite pizza sauce and uh, other seasoning. And then when you go to serve it, you serve it over pasta or, or rice as you choose. And um, smother it with cheese. Just smother it with cheese. Uh, we're going to uh, put the cheese on at the end when we go to serve it. I'm using up some of my tomato sauce from 2022. I made a lot of just plain sauce, but it's full of seeds. I don't enjoy that. I didn't realize that when I made it then in the first place so now I'm having to work with the product I've got. I don't have a jar opener so I'm using the very top thread of the jar with a spoon and I get in there and I pop it. Sometimes a knife would work. Oh too close to the end. There we go. There's one. And there's two. Still stuck. <laughs> I'm going to put these through a strainer to get the seeds out of them. These two jars of sauce are different colors, so I'm guessing that they were from different batches. Onion, or get a skin out of there right away. It takes a bit of work to get the uh, pulp through. But it does happen. Since the since 2022, I have gotten myself a food mill. But I'm not going to set it up just for these two little jars. And I won't have seeds in my tomato sauce ever again. Much better. Just a pile of seeds and skins. That'll go to the chickens. Okay, jar number two. There we go, number two is done. That's also going to the chickens. All right, this smells amazing. And I know that it's too large right now, but as it defrosts, it will melt down into the, into the tomato sauce. I am gonna be out of the house today, but my husband is here. And my husband will definitely peek in and stir this. Even if I tell him not to, he'll do it. <laughs> but I'll ask, he works from home, so he'll do it. It doesn't look very appetizing just yet. It will look better later. So I'm going to put the lid on that, and I'm going to put that on low. I haven't decided yet if that crock pot of pizza chicken is going to be over spaghetti squash, regular spaghetti, or gluten-free pasta. It probably will be gluten-free pasta, but I do have spaghetti squash that needs to be used up. It depends on what time I get back from my road trip today. Um, it takes about an hour to do the spaghetti squash in the oven, and that really is the way I prefer it. It even takes 25 minutes in the microwave because the spaghetti squash I have are huge, but that gives us a large amount of spaghetti squash, spaghetti, that's low carb. So, uh, and they need to be eaten. These are from our own garden and I don't want them to go to waste. So it'll probably be spaghetti squash and I'll do that when I get home from my road trip. So I'll check in with you later. 
I'm back after six hours. I was on the road for about five. We stopped for lunch and uh, that added up the extra little bit of time. And plus, my passenger needed to stop at the grocery store, so I know it's a no spend January. Do this budget on as little as par, do this month on as little grocery shopping as you can. And I'm really proud of myself. I did well and I maintained my self discipline. Come on down to the counter and look at this crock pot full of uh, chicken. So there's the crock pot. My husband did give it a stir while I was away. So it's been knocked down from what we showed it earlier. That chicken has now been put in here. There is onion and yellow pepper. And there is chicken. And that meal is ready to be served. I can put a ton of cheese in it. That's, we call it pizza chicken. So I put as much cheese as we want. I don't have mozzarella in the house, but I'll use whatever cheese I've got. Now, I did pick up some groceries. I spent $17.55. I'm so proud of me. I did good. <laughs> and what I, I did save $6 on a block of cheese while I was at it. When I started the January Pantry Challenge this year, I determined I was going to spend $50 a week or less, and I was going to be buying fresh produce and, um, and dairy. I bought green peppers. They're going to go into the pizza chicken and they're going to be put in the fridge to go in all kinds of different meals. And whatever I don't use, and it gets close to being, you know, spoiled close to close to its end I will dice them up and I will just freeze them I bought cheese we have a few other cheeses uh, but uh, and I had eight blocks of cheese in the fridge at the beginning of December but we're out of old cheddar now and uh, the kids ate a lot of cheese while they're here a house full of seven people can go through cheese pretty quick <laughs> and we're Canadian. I bought my milk in a bag. <laughs> um, that's uh, homogenized milk. It was a little more than getting a 2% or a skim milk, but I like the full fat and I don't care. I'm buying full fat milk. <laughs> so uh, this goes in my other fridge. And uh, that was it. I bought three things in the grocery store. That's very hard for me to do. I'm typically a uh, impulse shopper so this was a really good shopping trip for me this was a a good practice so that leaves me 33 dollars to last for the rest of the week today is wednesday so if we need anything before sunday it's got to be under 33 dollars i think we can do this we've got so much food in this house i'm gonna go put my milk away Thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to check out Jessica at the Three Rivers Homestead. She's been running this challenge for several years and uh, the hashtag Three Rivers Challenge will bring you to all kinds of other people who are also contributing to this challenge and participating. What a great way to build community and see what other people are doing to help make ends meet, see what other people are doing to use up stuff in their pantry that they may have been ignoring for a little too long. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. See you next time.